Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to put an image on a pullet. So first what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to click insert pullet. Now once you've got your pullet, you can scale it and rotate it however you'd like. Once you've gotten that figured out, you're going to click the pullet, click the plus and search for surface GUI. Click the surface GUI and then you're going to click the plus sign and then you're going to type in image label and now there should be a little image right here. If you want to change the side that it's facing you can select the surface GUI, go down and change the face. So I can change it from front to back. So now it's on the back. Once you've done that you're going to select the image label, you're going to go down, change the anchor point to 0.5 comma 0.5, change the background transparency to 1, change the border size pixel to 0, change the position to 0.5, comma 0, comma 0.5, comma 0, change the size to 1, comma 0, comma 1, comma 0. And now it should fill the whole block. Once you've gotten that done, you're going to select the image label, scroll down, and you should see the image ID right here. Now you can select it, delete it, and if your game is already published, this box should appear, and then you can click add image, choose a file, and add your image. So I'm just going to use the space pictures I have right here. I'm probably just going to use this one, double click it, click create. And now I have my space picture right here. And now I've gotten my space picture imported into Roblox Studio. Now if you want, you can change some of the properties of the image. You can scroll down, and now you can see this scale type right here. Currently it's set at stretch, but you can change it to fit to keep the image's resolution, no matter the size of your object. You can also change it to crop, which basically just crops it to fit the pulp size. And then you can also change it to tile, not too sure what that does, but you can also change it to slice, which basically does this ugly thing. I'd recommend keeping it at fit or at stretch. And that's how to import an image into Roblox Studio. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!